been a little while since I've done one of these. Hope you guys haven't forgotten about them. And Bison's crutch short no longer links to itself, and I think it's four frames, but his crutch jab is three. You can't get repeated lows anymore, but of course you can go for more optimal confirms more easily. Close forward is more plus on hit, and you can link a crouch or stand strong, which do the same damage. This is quite a strong link combo in the context of Omega, but Bison can actually do way better. Close jab and close short are more plus on hit. By the frames, they link into close fierce, but it's character specific and very weird to time. His anti-air crouch fierce now knocks down. There doesn't seem to be a good juggle out of it, but it's more useful than an air reset. His air normals have some pretty significant hitbox buffs. Both Jump Roundhouse and Jump Fierce can now cross up much more easily. While Neutral and Angle Jump Fierce both cause a JP1 state, similar to Hell Attack. Most of his other normals are the same, but he does have a few new ones. Down Towards Roundhouse is a bigger, beefier version of his stand forward, based on his SF2 Roundhouse. More damage and more range, but it takes longer to whiff. You can link into it, which gives you some very SF2 looking combos. But there's usually something better you could do instead. Down Towards Fierce is a two hit punch that seems to work like Ryu's Solar Plexus. You can get some strong links out of it. It's too slow to link into, so it seems like it's mostly for post-crumple, but again, Bison can actually do much better things there, so this is mostly outclassed. It does maintain a juggle state, and the first hit cancels, which means it's actually pretty good after a focused backdash. It does work after juggles, and it's actually your optimal damage route if you don't have ultra. Some notable links are close, short, far, strong, Crouch Jab Far Strong, and Close Forward Far Strong. Linking it to Far Strong is nice because it cancels, just like Ultra. Sadly, it feels almost like Bison's natural charge time is longer than average, and he has no ability to convert mid-range combos without charge. So linking into normals is probably often optimal. Outside of his Psycho Sever combos, most combos don't build inherent charge, but I'll talk about that later. Bison's special moves are pretty much all different. Psycho Crusher has seen a big increase in damage, doing 30 more on each version. The EX version is now 2 bars, and it's more unsafe than Ultra's EX Psycho Crusher, but appropriately it saw a huge jump in damage. Damage-wise, this isn't a bad way of spending 2 meters. Unfortunately, Bison's other reversal options were nerfed, and now this is his main offensive reversal, despite the fact that it's very expensive and risky. It costs two more bars to FADC, and when you do, it does pathetic damage on hit, while also not allowing any juggles. Bison lost juggle potential on all versions of Psycho Crusher. They're all JP0, except EX Crusher, which does poor damage in JP1 juggles. Like AE 2012, Bison's Light Scissor Kick appears to be 0 on block. Medium is minus 5 and Heavy is minus 8. But EX Scissor Kick has lost its invincibility, and in return it's extremely plus on hit and also 0 on block. You can cancel into EX Scissor Kick and then link out of it no problem. The damage on this is insane. Bison can reach about 450 damage for 1 bar with the right routes, while most characters struggle to hit that number with 2 bars. You can even use a few in the same combo. EX requires about double the charge time of a meterless scissor kick, probably to prevent combos like far strong EX scissor kick times 4. Devil's Reverse has enormous hitbox improvements, but can no longer be steered. The strength of the punch determines how far forward you go on the initial jump, but the punch follow-up will always go forward a fixed distance. Doing Kick during a Devil's Reverse will now give you a stomp. It's a real overhead, but it's slightly minus on block and definitely reactable. It might catch people trying to anti-air the reverse, though. 
You can't EX these follow-ups during the reverse, but if you start with the X reverse, the punch follow-up is significantly faster and stronger. While the kick follow-up gets an extra hit, and more damage and plus frames. Stomp seems to be pretty much the same, but EX Stomp is definitely a precursor to SF5's EX Stomp. Teleport seems to be the same. Since EX Scissor Kick, EX Stomp, and EX Devil's Reverse each lost their invincibility, Teleport is one of Bison's last remaining reversal options. Bison has two new special moves. I'm going to call the first one Psycho Throw, since for whatever reason it's not on the move list. The input is Half Circle Back Punch. This is an unblockable command grab which strongly resembles his VT2 command grab in SF5. But unlike the SF5 command grab, this one drains a sizable chunk of the opponent's super meter. All versions appear to have identical range, damage, and speed. It's 8 frame start up. The EX version will actually drain some health in addition to draining meter. This idea was later reused with Nash's Tragedy Assault. You can combo into the EX version if you cancel into it, but it's a grab if you don't. It's a bit faster at 5 frame startup and does more damage than the meterless version. No version F80Cs or super cancels in any way. The other special move is Psycho Sever, quarter circle back kick. This is the main appeal of Omega Bison, and definitely his best feature. To get its weirdest feature out of the way, all versions reflect fireballs. The light version combos from any cancelled medium. After it hits, you can link a crouch jab, which already gives you some cool combos. The medium version combos from Stand Fierce, and it lets you link all his lights as well as far strong and low forward. This is absolutely insane and gives you huge damage meterless conversions on the whole cast. If you want to use character specific links or a little meter, your damage goes up even higher. And this is really useful because it doesn't require any prior charge. This also makes it great for his FADC conversions. The heavy version knocks down, but unlike the lighter medium versions, it's an overhead. And Bison lacking an overhead was seen as a big weakness of the character in all versions of SF4, since he's usually considered to be a pressure archetype. The EX version is also an overhead which knocks down, but it's noticeably faster than the heavy version, albeit more telegraphed. It's two hits, and you can FADC the first hit. This gives you a huge conversion from your overhead, at the cost of three bars. All versions of Psycho Sever, including EX, are almost totally safe. Medium is the worst at minus two. Bison Super plays out a new animation, but otherwise it seems to be similar to USF4, just faster and stronger. Try as I might, I couldn't find any new setups for his ultras. Bison and USF4 already struggled the hardest of any character to land an ultra, and since Omega generally removed ultra setups, I'm not surprised he's got almost nothing. You can't combo a crumple in any way, not even level 2 focus from EX Scissor or EX Sever. You can land both ultras from focus attack and air to airs, and ultra 2 is still an anti fireball. Bison's almost definitely high tier in Omega. The weakened reversal options suck, but aren't a huge deal when there's less Hoki's MA. His damage is through the roof for no reason, while he's still ridiculously safe with good chip damage, good pokes, and good movement. An overhead and a command grab are ridiculously good additions to his kit as a rushdown character, even if both are pretty slow. And his lack of an ultra presence outside of hell attack or anti-fireballs is par for the course. <laughs> 